Hi, it's Miss Barbara here for our special Groundhog's Day story time. And we're going to read a story called Groundhog's Runaway Shadow by David Bidricki. There's the book. I want to show you the end pages. It's very cool because you see his shadow, right? Because the Groundhog's Day is all about whether or not he sees his shadow. And David Bedricki wrote the story and did the illustrations. The only thing that could keep up with Little Phil Groundhog was his shadow. No matter how fast he ran or how high he jumped, his shadow followed his every move. Whether he laughed or cried, his shadow was always right there beside him. Even when Phil felt small, see how small he is? His shadow could make him feel bigger. See how small he is, but his shadow is But everyone grows up, even groundhogs and their shadows. Growing up, groundhogs are expected to act a certain way, but Phil's shadow had other plans. Here he is, here's his shadow. Phil's idea of the perfect vacation was taking the bus to the local beach. I love to go to the beach too. Shadow dreamed of visiting far away places. Phil loves scary movies. Shadow, not so much. I don't like scary movies either. Do you like scary movies? You do? Uh-uh, not Miss Barbara, they're too scary. Phil enjoyed eating dandelions, clover, and tree bark. But Shadow loved to eat what? What does Shadow like to eat? Tacos. Now, Miss Barbara loves tacos. Do you like tacos? I know Holly loves tacos, right? She's only telling me she likes tacos. Phil liked to be on time. Shadow liked to stop and smell the roses. <laughs> See, he's smelling the roses. Can you smell the roses? It's always good to stop and smell the roses. At first, Phil found Shadow's behavior amusing, but a little off-key. Phil's friends found it amazing and a little gross. Burp. But soon it got annoying and then downright embarrassing. P.U. I think the shadow was a little stinky. Phil had had enough. Why can't you be like other shadows? I wish you would just go away. Look at Phil, he looks pretty upset. How do you think Shadow feels about that? If someone told me to go away, I bet I would be sad. My feelings would be a little hurt. So I bet Shadow's feelings are hurt. That's what I think. Shadow was crushed. He got angry. But then he thought about it. Phil said he should go away. And he had always wanted to travel. Remember when I said Shadow dreamed about going to new and exciting places? Well, now he's going to get his chance. So that night, see, look, Phil is asleep. And what do you think Shadow's doing? What does he have? Can you tell what this is? I think he's got a suitcase. I think he's going to go somewhere. Let's see where he goes. And the next morning, where's he going? And a couple of days later, so he got on a ship. 
travel. And where did he go? Can you tell what that is? Where do you think that is? Those are called the pyramids there in Egypt. And look at how big the shadow is. So he went to see the pyramids. Back at home, Phil tried everything he could to find his shadow. Oh, shadow! Oh, shadow! Where are you? And look, he took a flashlight. See, if you want to make a shadow, you shine a flashlight. And then you can make a shadow. And he shined the flashlight, but look, no shadow. He posted signs. See the sign? It says, lost. Have you seen my shadow? If found, keep shadow out of shade and call 555-5555 immediately. And look, he even put an ad in the newspaper. Groundhog seeks shadow. He really, really wants to find his shadow. He misses his shadow, doesn't he? Then he saw his shadow making news. See the newspaper? Mysterious shadow seen at the Eiffel Tower. That's in France. And look at these. Shadow rocks the White House. Shadow to star in movie. Shadow meets the queen. Suddenly Phil's life seemed pretty dull. He longed to be exploring with his shadow. His shadow is having more fun than he is. Halfway around the world, Shadow realized something was missing. He had no one to share his adventures. The thought of searching for Shadow scared him silly. He'd have to travel far and wide. But the next morning, what's he doing? Can you tell what he's getting on there? He's getting on a plane. And a couple of days later and into the following week, that's exactly what he did. Now he's getting to travel to all those fun places. He searched. Now where do you think this might be? Does that look familiar to anybody? Do you know what that's called? That's the Empire State Building. It's in New York City. Shadow! Shadow! He's in Italy. He's in, looks like maybe Arizona. And he searched some more. This is called a gondola. He's in Italy, in Venice. Finally, when he could search no longer, he had an idea. Let's see what his idea is going to be. began to play. Look, he's playing his special instrument. It's called an accordion. And he's playing it. It looks a little bit like a piano. He's making music. And when he did, he heard someone gently accompanying him. Accompanying means playing with him together. The two friends played together, this time in perfect harmony. And the next morning, and a couple of days later, and forever after, that's exactly what they did. And there he is on February 2nd looking for a shadow. So that is Groundhog's Runaway Shadow. Thanks a lot for joining me. Bye-bye.